Hi, this is Mo from Paul Frederico Photography and welcome to Phototech. This is where I go over uh, gear, new gear that I have purchased or that I have. In a more recent video, you have already seen me review the Z6 II by Nikon. Love it. It's my go-to. It's my camera that is my workhorse. But today I'm going to tell you why I actually purchased a Z6 as well. So I've got the Z6 II and the Z6. Now you can see they're almost identical. In fact, the only thing that's different is the two on this one. So the reason for the Z6, the reason for the purchase on this one was because I'm going to Antarctica and I don't want to go all the way down to Antarctica where there is no camera store if something goes wrong and be caught without a camera. Too far to go, too much money to spend to be without my camera. Now I am probably going to bring my D500 as another backup just in case, but Another factor is when you're photographing in places, polar regions especially, where it's incredibly cold, the last thing you want to do is be changing lenses from one camera to the next. So the idea behind this was to be able to keep the telephoto on my Z6 II, my 100-400 lens, which I love, and then put my 24 to 120 on the Z6. Why have I chosen to do it that way? Let me tell you. So the Z6 is a bit of a step down. Now I got this used, I got it half price. It only had, you know, very few clicks on it and it was a really good value. So I decided to go with this one rather than purchase another Z6 II because I already have the Z6 II and the next camera I purchase is going to be either the Z6 III or the Z8, probably the Z8. This is also the full, a full frame camera, so good there. And there are some differences between the two. The main difference between the two is, actually let me show you on the Z6 II, um, it only holds one card. Now it is for an XQD or a CF Express B card, which is great because I use both. Uh, the nice part about the Z6 II is what I'm used to, where it has actually space for two cards, the CFX Express B or XQD, as well as an SD slot, which I personally use as backup. Backup, backup, backup. So this is what they look like side by side. Now you can see in the front, they're almost identical. Um, ignore this little piece down here, that's my connector. Uh, and that's another connector there. Ignore those. Um, the only difference is you really have to look at the front where this one says Z62 and this one says Z6. So everything else is identical. The, the function buttons are both in the same place, everything there. Let me look at the top of the camera and the top of the camera is the same thing. Also um, identical, which really makes it easy to, and that's what I love about uh, Nikon and I'm sure most camera companies do this, but they all have uh, very, very similar. This, these two are identical. So, you know, I mean, yeah, you could accidentally mix them up, I suppose. Uh, that's why um, I'm going to tell you um, how to not do that. I put a different kind of um, uh, rubber gasket on the back here, but even the back is absolutely identical. So functionality wise, the, from the outside, they both look the same. There's really no difference. They're lightweight. They're good looking cameras. They're solid, built really solidly. In fact, I sent this one back to Nikon Professional Services to have it cleaned. Came back in a few days and uh, they said, you know, zero was wrong with it. And I use this camera uh, on a consistent, consistent basis. Now this one, the Z6, I got as a backup camera. So I'll explain to you uh, a little bit more of that. And the reason um, I got the Z6 was because I was able to get a used one with only 458 clicks. 
and I wanted to have it as a backup camera, especially uh, my, my upcoming trip to Antarctica, where I don't want to have to change lenses out in the cold. This is a perfect simple backup camera to have. Now there are a few other differences that um, that I want to highlight. Uh, nothing glaring, but there are definitely some improvements with a C6 II that you're not getting with a Z6. They're both 24.5 megapixel, which is great. Um, they both have the same uh, image size. Uh, this one, the Z6 II, has a dual uh, X-Speed 6 processor, while the Z6 I has a single processor. I've already told you about the single card issue. This one is a little bit better in the Z6 II, a little bit better on refresh rate. It also uh, shoots 14 frames per second, where this one shoots 12 frames per second. Not a huge difference. Um, for me, I, I like it a little bit faster at least, but not a really huge difference. But the camera buffer rate is um, much higher on the Z6 II. Uh, camera buffer rate on this one is at 35 and this one is at 124. So that is a big difference. Uh, minimum shutter speed on the Z6 is 30 seconds. Minimum shutter speed on the Z6 II is 900 seconds. So a lot faster of a camera, which is why the telephoto for shots of birds and, you know, things like that is going to be on the faster camera. While this one will be perfect for landscape and even those penguins <laughs> that come up and, you know, want to bite my toes or something like this. Um, and my, actually, my plan is to put it on a gimbal and just let the, uh, you know, penguins come up to it and see what happens uh, with my remote shutter. So those are the main differences. Now, they both have low light sensitivity, which is great, uh, very handy. If you're doing, you know, wide area autofocus, uh, this can do it. This one can't. Not a deal breaker. Really not a bad thing. Uh, with regards to battery, it, it says this one takes the ENL E15B and the Z6 II takes an ENL E15C. No. You can use the ENL 15 Cs that you already have, which is a better battery, in this camera as well. You do not have to double purchase batteries. You can use the ENEL 15 Cs in this as well. In fact, you probably should. The battery life when you're using the ENEL 15 C is a little bit more, it probably gives you about 30 to 40 more shots. Uh, so, you know, not significant, but certainly, you know, in a pinch, um, it is going to be important. So those are the basic differences between the two cameras. Um, this one weighs just, just slightly, not even noticeably less than this one. I, it, a couple of grams, really, really not noticeable. Uh, but the, the funny thing is, they're the same price. So uh, not sure why. Uh, anyone would buy the Z6 uh, Mark I uh, at full price. Doesn't make sense when you can usually get this one even on with rebates, sometimes $100 or $200 off. The difference is though, with you can get the Z6 sometimes in used, where it's very difficult to get the Z6 II as a used camera uh, for a reasonable price. This one was rated excellent plus and I got it, like I said, for half price. So it was a really good deal and perfect for my needs. So what's my verdict? Well, uh, the Z6 is gonna be a great, just all purpose backup. Great for things like, um, that, that I'm, not, I'm not looking for the, the, as much power as the Z6 II has. And, you know, like landscapes or, you know, penguins waddling towards it, <laughs> things like that. Um, while I, and, and keeping uh, the smaller lens on that one while I have the larger lens on the Z6 II with the much better capability. So those are the two cameras. And while I call this a Z6 Mark I versus Z6 II, um, it's really not a versus. It's a usage for each one, especially to have it as a backup. Well, that's it for this edition and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one.